Hello my friends and welcome back to Storytime Online. Today we're going to read Peppa Pig and the Muddy Puddles. Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig are tucking Peppa and George into bed. There is so much rain, Peppa says. That means there will be muddy puddles to jump in tomorrow, Mommy Pig says with a smile. The splish splash splash of raindrops on the window sings Peppa and George to sleep. They dream of muddy puddles. It rains and rains and rains. The next morning, the sun is shining. Daddy Pig runs out to jump in a muddy puddle. But he lands in a big pool of water instead. Oh, how did this water get here? Daddy Pig asks. And where are the muddy puddles? Asks Peppa. Quack, quack, quack. Our house is on an island, says Peppa. Oh dear, says Mommy Pig. What will we do? Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig arrive on their boat. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig says. Wonderful boating weather. We're going to the store, says Granny Pig. Can George and I come too? asks Peppa. Yes, we'll do the shopping for everybody. Squawk! Polly can remember our shopping list. She is very good at that. Granny Pig says, Who's a clever parrot? Squawk! Who's a clever parrot? says Polly. Polly is very good at repeating what people say. Peppa, George, Grandpa Pig, Granny Pig, and Polly motor across the water. It's fun, but there are no muddy puddles. Each house is on its own island. They go from house to house, asking everyone what they need from the store. Susie Sheep asks for chocolate. Squawk! Chocolate! Polly repeats. Grandad Dog needs a newspaper and Danny Dog wants a comic book. Squawk! Newspaper! Comic book! Polly repeats. Grampy Rabbit wants a cheese. Squawk! Cheese! Polly repeats. Grandpa Pig's boat arrives at the supermarket. Hello, says Miss Rabbit. What can I get you? Polly knows, Peppa says proudly. Squawk! Polly opens her beak. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? She says. Polly has forgotten the list. Don't worry, says Peppa. I remember. So they get what's needed and go back to deliver everything. Cheese, says Granby Rabbit. Thank you. A newspaper and comic book, says Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Thank you. Chocolate, says Susie Sheep. Thank you. Chocolate for dinner, asks Mommy Sheep. But Peppa is sad. She didn't get what she wanted. There were no muddy puddles at all. The next morning, the sun is shining brightly in the clear blue sky. Polly Parrot comes to visit. Grandpa Pig's boat is stuck on Peppa's front lawn. Oh, Granny Pig says, looking out from the boat. The flood is over. They all look around. The houses that were on islands yesterday are now back to normal, sitting on top of their hills. 
the water that Pippa and George boarded in is gone. And at the bottom of their very odd hill, they see a great big muddy puddle. <laughs> big enough for everyone. The end. I hope you like this story. If you enjoyed this story, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Always be happy and safe. See you next time. Bye.